Welcome back everyone! Welcome back to Metal Canyon Place Farm Manager 2018. We're doing pretty good in our farm. Uh, we've picked our strawberries, which now have a fungus growing on them, which is not good, so we bought, bought some uh, anti-fungus uh, spray, which we'll be spraying on this. Uh, we're spraying anti-weed stuff on our uh, quinoa, I believe. No, lupine. And, uh, yeah, it's going well. So where's my spray? Let me know how you're enjoying this game uh, down in the comments below, by the way. Alright, there's our spray. You're spraying anti-weed to spray on the fields, okay. And what condition is your first strawberry field? Look at our bank account. We really need these plants. When you harvest them, remember to sell them quickly on the market because they have a very short expiry date. Uh-oh. That's not good. Alright, let's, uh, let's sell them quickly. Sell them all. Really? That's it? It's a good-ish price, though. Alright, so let's spray this. Anti-fungus. No one's available? Darn it. Yeah, no, one, no one's available yet. That needs watering. Come on. Anyone available now? No! Seriously, what's going on? She's still watering. Where's she going? Four out of eight. There we go. So, spray anti-fungus. There we go. That'll help. And now, this one, I could... Oh, I cannot fertilize it. Let's spray anti-weed. For this. There we go. And I've got zero workers available now. There we go. That's gonna help, hopefully. It still has the uh, fungus thing. Oh, there we go. It's already gone. Perfect. Alright, so they're now available for something else. I suppose watering. There's no one... Oh yeah, they have to go back to the house, rest, and then they'll be available. There we go. Yeah, we really need machines for this, but it's very expensive. Collect strawberry from the field. Hmm. They're a bit slow on that, aren't they? Because... Uh, oh, grass is growing around. Uh, because we've just done that. And it's going to be another 21 days until we get more. Hmm. And it needs a watering, so... <laughs> Come on, get your water on. Let's do this. Our chickens are doing pretty good. There needs to be some kind of automation. Let me see. Is there no automation that I can just... Oh, auto trade. There we go. Yeah, auto trade. Ah, perfect. Chicken eggs. All the time. Cow stuff as well. Uh, for now, nothing else. Because I don't really have anything else. Strawberries also, I suppose. We have to sell them immediately. There. So now stuff will be auto-sold. I don't have to worry about it going bad because I don't have any refrigeration. <clears throat> so I'm assuming spraying anti-weed and anti-other stuff once is enough for one harvest. I'm hoping anyway. So how's our silos? Zero. This one has 31, 31. Okay. Our chickens will soon need more uh, sunflower and lupin or lupine seeds. Okay, we've got two workers available. Let's water this. Thank you. Yeah, see, there's, it's already a lot of um, micromanagement now, and my farm is pretty s tiny. I'm assuming it gets a lot easier and a lot faster with machines, of course, but um, I'm still kind of concerned about, you know, how much micromanagement it'll take when you have a lot of stuff. Alright, so let's see. This is soil humidity. Good, good. There's no soil humidity, but there's barely anything growing here anyway, so... Let me see what happens if I do... 
water it? Will they water the entire field or just... I mean, they probably will. Hmm. We'll see. There we go. So humidity going up. And the uh, strawberries are happy. Unfortunately, this tiny field of strawberries doesn't really sell for a lot. So I suppose I should really make more. But uh, I am kind of running low on money. So am I selling this stuff? Well, there's quite a bit of cow milk. Why don't you guys sell it? I've got it on auto sell. I'm really not fetching high prices for this, am I? What's this? Machine market. Oh, trade. See, I've got it enabled. Sell products when uh, will be over this limit in warehouses. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's twice a month. All right. All right. Well, it's good. It is selling products when uh, they will be over this limit in warehouses. Good. Good. I've got a lot of silage here. Um, that's a bit of a odd place to drive. They drive on the right, then change the left lane, drive onto oncoming traffic, then go back here. <laughs> well, nobody said this was a uh, traffic simulator, so I'm not really bothered about that that much. What was that? Plus 100 watts. Plus 100 strawberries? That wasn't strawberries, that was something else. Apple trees. That'd be kind of cool. Apple trees. Right. You know what? I should probably buy some more feed now that... Because well, it's kind of... It's kind of cheap. Oh, wait a second. That was the seeds. Yeah, look at that. It's very cheap, actually. Both of these things are cheap. Yeah, let's buy a hundred more. Look at this. It's really cheap. Unlimited! I guess that means fill it up to, uh, you know, capacity. Let's get 200. Uh, and some sunflower. Yeah, that's not too bad either. Let's buy that as well. For chickens! Yeah, they are, they are doing the entire field, aren't they? It's a little bit annoying. But everything is watered nicely now. This needs watering. Keeping our workforce uh, occupied. No rest for you. Never. Almost a ton of manure now. Well, almost three quarters, really. But I still don't understand what this means. Minus 25% what? I don't know. 100 kilos of grass. I don't know. No idea. So how much silage do we have now? 1,008 units. That's quite a bit. And these cows eat silage. Yep. Loud food. 4% and silage 96%. Hmm. Oh, it's auto-managed. Okay. This <laughs> apples. Caregivers. I suppose if you have too much stuff... you. Oh, look! We've gone from three cows to five cows now because of the inseminator. Yeah, that was definitely much more worth it. We've paid the inseminator just uh, just below 2,000 and we got two cows out of it instead of 2,600 for one cow. Yeah, that was very worth it. Excellent. Probably not as worth for chickens because they're very cheap. And I'm assuming the inseminator doesn't really, you know, give you stuff for cheaper just because. Okay, they're actually done with this, so, hmm. Let's, uh, water these again. The straw, straw berries. And water this again. Man, it needs constant watering. Yeah, it's gonna take a while now because the, uh, the tutorial did, uh, sort of bug out a little bit. Well, bug out. I was supposed to only collect the strawberries now, but I was a little bit faster with that. Or maybe I was too slow with the other stuff. So we have to wait another 11 days for the strawberries. There we go. But they're doing good. They're happy. 
Strawberry. There's milk. Alright, so they're ch uh, selling that. That's good. I really don't want to go below 20,000 now. Um, yeah. Alright, fine. Let's uh, water this as well. Despite the fact that we're gonna get a minimal amount of sunflowers from this. Yeah, look at that. Well, actually, uh, a third of the field, maybe. It's a bit of a shame, but oh well. You know, we learn. I'll know, I'll know for the... Why are you watering that part? There's nothing there. Nothing. Just water the sunflowers. Yeah, you know, we now know for the next time that if you interrupt seeding, um, it's not a good idea because there's no way, apparently, to uh, reseed the stuff or add seeds. I guess there is, but you probably have to plow the field or something. So, yeah, not really what I want. So make sure that when you're seeding stuff, um, you're happy with the amount of workers that will be working the field. So if it's a tiny field like this, one worker, fine. If it's, you know, a bigger field like this, at least three workers, I would say, for this. Um, create a 0.084 hectares field before something and get a reward. How much was it? 1500. Hmm, it's not bad. Let me see if I can do that. Uh, so they want 8-4. I do it like this. 8-5, there we go. It still costs me, but there you go. We got some money back, so that's not bad. And we did go under 20,000 now, so... <laughs> and you know what? This one I'm gonna do properly. Oh, I cannot. Nobody available at the moment. So now this is... This is summer, I suppose. Okay. So I'll wait until people are, are available. There we go, one person. It's gonna take quite a while if I do it with just one person. The problem is, the fields constantly need watering. So... Maybe I'll be in the clear now. I'll need another well somewhere over here. In fact, I think I might build it now. It's a thousand, but um, it's miscellaneous, isn't it? Three thousand, increase access to water for irrigation. So how does that work? Oh, wait a second. Does this automatically water stuff? That would be great. That would be perfect. Does it? Please say this does it automatically. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. Okay, what does this do? Pump. Range 100. Oh wow, I didn't notice that I was that far off the grid. Let me guess. Hmm. It doesn't... I don't know. I mean, it... It's going into the ground, so... Do I have to add it to the fields? Irrigation, or... Everything is at full humidity now, though. Almost. Hmm. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay. Let's do this. I've paid for it, so it better... Oh, wait a second. There we go. The building used for the irrigation of fields is not too complicated, just like its wid uh, window. What? Anyway, do you want me to give you the parameters that are displayed in it? The window of the ir irrigation building contains information about the building. And this one, okay. Watering range and maintenance cost. And that's it. It doesn't actually tell me whether it automatically irrigates fields or not. So far, it doesn't look like it. Thanks for that. <laughs> Allows increasing access to water for irrigation. It's a bit poorly re written. It doesn't actually explain what it does. Wind turbine station. What the hell? Oh, it gives you plus 10 a month. Okay. Unavailable in this scenario. Oh! Interesting. So I guess we will be moving to a different place? I don't know. We'll see. 
Well, this stuff is not losing humidity, so... I don't know. Let's see what happens if I... Order these guys to, uh... Water this field. I'm keeping... Yep. Yeah. Oh, no, no, that's them. Here we're getting it. Hmm. Not really sure. We'll have to see. This stuff is definitely losing humidity now, though. Okay, two more people are available. Let's interrupt the work. So that I can uh, select more people for plowing. Get away from the field. Man, that's annoying. You, you select interrupt work and then you have to wait for everyone to get back. Look at that. Still plowing in progress. It's not! I've interrupted the work everyone is off. <laughs> Let me add people. There we go. Much better. Pump. Hmm. Kinda wish it had some kind of sound effect, that would be nice. Are there just centers on it? No, I don't want you again. Explaining me that the window means that it's a water pump. Maybe it slows down humidity degradation? I don't know then. Oh! Strawberries are ready. No! I don't have anyone available. I've got four people here. One working on this, one work or working on the chicken. So where are the rest of the two people? Oh yeah, one on the silage. There's, a, there's only one available. And the grass needs to be cut. Brilliant. Alright, you know what? Interrupt the work. I need workers for other stuff. Okay, come on. Still zero workers. Still zero workers. One. Alright, just one person can pick strawberries. That's fine. And then I need the rest to pick up grass. That's two. That's three. Excellent. Yeah, see, one person is more than enough to pick up the uh, strawberries. Okay. I need a drink. That's made me uh, thirsty. Ah. Perfect. I've got one person free. God, the humidity is going down. Okay, let me choose one person to do this. And then see if they actually need to go to the well or not. The answer is yes, they do. Range 50. Wait. Wait a second. Oh, we've harvested 150 strawberries. The Ministry of Agriculture has provided you with funding for the purchase of agriculture and machinery and modernization of the farm. Start by building a parking lot for your machines. Wait a second. Oh, wow, that's a lot of money. The well also has a range. Oh, no, so the pump doesn't actually automatically irrigate. It just gives you a range that people watering the fields will come to this pump for. Ah, okay. I was kind of hopeful there. Right, what would that be? Carriages. 50,000! Huge concrete screed. Okay, it's concrete. Can be used for parking of large agricultural machines, which does not fit to any other building. It has four large parking spaces. Oh, that's quite big, actually. Alright. I suppose it'll be... What? Let's place it... Oh, yeah, let's, let's place it here. Boom! Look at that place. Finally getting machines. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Waiting for construction materials. There they are. Yep, look at that. That's all concrete. Boom. Perfect. Oh, we're buying machines. I like it. A breath of modernity. Modernity. You already have parking places. Now it's time to fill it. Buy a tractor, Riga, tree planter, and a chest trailer. 
Okay. Right, let's go to the machine market. Uh, I cannot search, apparently. There it is. Whoa, 45,000. The tractor allows for attaching tools and trailers in order to enable field work or transportation of products. It does not move too fast, but performs well in the rough lands. Before the invention of the tractors, people used farm animals to help them with work on the land. Alright, so let's buy one of these. Parking. Let's buy a box trailer. Trailers are used to transport specific crops. They differ in their use and capacity. Thanks to the use of cylinders, quick and automatic unloading is possible. Cylinders? What you mean, like, um, pneumatic cylinders? Hydraulic cylinders? I don't know. And I need the orchard planter. Oh, we're gonna do orchards? An orchard planter allows planting certain trees on the previously loosened fields. Thanks to this, you can easily and evenly fill large fields with specific trees. For full operation, it requires two additional employees. Wow. Wait, was it really only 400? Very cheap. Okay. Time to plant the first orchard. Trees grow slowly, but if you take care of trees, they will yield crops for many years. Buy young apple trees and plant them with the new machines. Let's go! Alright, so I'm assuming I'm gonna do this field. I haven't plowed it all at all. Unfortunately, I don't have a plow. Can I buy one? Uh, no. Wind mower. Oh yeah, that's for uh, grass. Oh, look at that. Trailer with water. <laughs> Sprayer, slurry tank, self-loading, mega tractor, orchard tractor. Oh. The tractor allows for attaching tools and drills. Okay. I'm guessing that's a smaller tractor for actually driving through the orchards or something. Eto's tractor. Um, yeah, there doesn't seem to be a plow available, so... Alright. Plant apple tree in the field. Or just unplowed? Oh yeah, let me actually buy the apple trees. Apple trees! Oh, price went up. Oh well. Let's wait for it. Look at my machines! You know, they could get about eight machines here. Like in two rows. Alright, how's my uh, stuff doing? 31, 155. Wow, the chickens are... Oh yeah, I've got more of it here. Good. Chickens are happy. Excellent. I've got five cows out of six. Okay. It's time to actually seed this. Choose apple trees. Machines. <laughs> Anything else? Orchard planter. There we go, I can autofill. Oh, I just got one person available. Okay, I gotta wait for that actually then. How's this doing? You know what? While we wait for them to uh, cut all this, let's uh, water this. Yeah, this will need watering as well. Man, I wish I could uh, just irrigate the stuff. There's my manure. There's quite a bit of it. Lovely jubbly. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. Let me know down in the comments below. Oh, scare the birds which are destroying your field. How? Um, oh, just click on them. Okay, well that was easy. <laughs> Thanks so much. I hope you're enjoying this. Check out my Patreon. Don't forget to subscribe and like and all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.